Earlier, I spoke with the mother of one of the Parkland shooting victims to get her insight into the students and community surrounding Friday's high school shooting in Texas. Take a look. Here with us now for insight into the latest school shooting in Texas is Stoneman Douglas victim Alyssa Alhadef's mother, Lori. Lori, first, I just want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us and my deepest condolences in the loss of your daughter. Thank you. Lori, as a mother of one of the Parkland victims, what are the parents of the Santa Fe High School shooting going through right now, especially right before graduation? They're in trauma. They're at loss. The love of their life was ripped away from them. I can't even imagine. Um, how are Parkland students dealing with this latest tragedy? Have they been re-traumatized from this, do you think? Yes, of course. We are all traumatized when this happened again and we're reliving it. When, when it happened, it, it was like February 14th all over again. And what do you make of the different reactions regarding gun control in both the Florida and Texas school shootings? I think the American people, they want change and they feel that it keeps happening. When 9-11 happened, we made changes in our airports and it's and it stopped. But this is keeps happening with our schools and things are not stopping. And so we need change. You recently announced you are running for Broward County School Board. Why did you decide to run and what is your platform? I decided to run for the Broward County School Board District 4 because I want to make sure that change is is completed, that change happens. I want to make sure that our schools are safe, that our kids feel safe in an environment where they can have a quality education. I want to make Broward County Schools a model for the rest of the country. And I want to hold people accountable and to make sure that the jobs are done correctly. Do you have any advice or words of encouragement for the parents and the community of Santa Fe right now? We continue to fight for changes here at the state level and the federal level. I'm sorry this happened to you, but we are here to try to, we're trying to make change. We're not, we're not keeping quiet. We're keeping, we're still trying to have a voice and our love goes out to you. Lori, thank you so much for being with us today and we will continue to follow your campaign and your mission. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, I was, it was really difficult for me to even have a conversation with her because I just kept thinking about the fact that 90 days prior, she lost her pride and joy, Alyssa. And um, for her to be so selfless and try to evoke action for all the other children out there because she can no longer evoke action for Alyssa, um, absolutely uh, rendered me speechless. I can barely remember that interview, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the courage this woman shown to go, I mean, I don't even know if I'd be able to get out of the bed 90 days later. I cannot imagine as a parent what she's going through. And, uh, you know, I'm, for her to be not only trying to get action, but she's trying to run for the school board. I think we need people that have been directly touched by this mm -hmm. rather than people that, whose pocketbooks are, are being directly affected by this, which and is who we have in office now. Lori has absolutely been on top of things since day one. I spoke to her less than a week after this massacre happened and then a shortly a couple weeks later. And she has been right in the middle of the storm saying that I demand change and I'm going to be the catalyst for change. So, I mean, she is just an extremely strong woman. She absolutely is.